Hello and welcome to this session on web services. Today we are going to learn what SOAP web services are and what are the rules or guidelines that make a web service as a SOAP web service. So let us begin and let us see what SOAP web services are. So any web service that follows some guidelines which are laid down by SOAP web services specifications is called a SOAP web service. So there are some set of rules and if any web service comply and follow those rules we can say that web service is a SOAP web service. But what are these rules or standards and who actually defines these rules? So let us answer the second question who defines and dictates these standards. So there is an international body that develops open standards for World Wide Web and it is called as W3C or World Wide Web Consortium. And this is the body that defines these standards or rules. So now we know there is a central body that lays down these rules. Now the basic and the important question, what are these rules and guidelines? So SOAP Web Service Specifications, which is laid down by W3C, has two categories of specifications one is the basic set and it includes SOAP, WSTL and UDDI. So any web service that follows these three specification can be called as a SOAP web service. And we have already seen about WSTL which is web services description language and UDDI in our last session. So in case you have not seen that session, you can go back and see that session first and then come to this particular tutorial. And then there is SOAP, which is uh, which we will look into this session more deeply. There are some extended set of guidelines as well, and uh, they include security and other things. And whenever we create web services for enterprise, we follow these guidelines as well. But in this session, we will focus on the basic specifications. So we have already learned that any web services that follows the SOAP web services specifications can be called as a SOAP web service. And these guidelines are laid down by a central body W3C. And there are three basic rules that a SOAP web service has to comply to, to actually become a SOAP web service. So let us see what SOAP means. So SOAP is a protocol and it stands for simple object access protocol. Now this is the expansion which was used until SOAP version 1.1 but with SOAP 1.2 this expansion has been discontinued but we are still stuck with the acronym. So it basically is a set of rules and definitions on how two applications will talk to each other over the internet. So let us understand this. We know the client server concepts and we know that there has to be a service provider and a service consumer and they talk to each other with the help of web services. Now SOAP protocol says that all the exchange of data or message or information between these two applications has to be in, in a format and that format has to be a common format and in case of SOAP it has to be XML. So all the information and message exchange has to occur over a common format and the common format that SOAP uses is XML. And it also says that it cannot be a very simple XML document. The XML message has to be a SOAP message. And what we mean by SOAP message is the message should consist of uh, some particular structure and the structure is made up of an envelope, a header and a body. So let us look into this what exactly the SOAP message consists of. So the SOAP message consists of an envelope which is the root element and inside envelope we can have a header. Header is optional and it gives us information about uh, the, the complex types and it can have authentication parameters as well. And then we have a body. So let us see envelope is the very basic root element of a SOAP message and it contains other elements like header and body. And header is the element that provides information about the message. So the actual request is not inside the header, but header can include authentication and complex types and other similar information about the SOAP message. 
and then we have body which contains our actual request so all the parameters that you want to send as a request will be inside the body so let us look at this example of a soap message you can see there is the envelope which is the root element and we do not have a header because header is optional but if you want to give some username password and some complex type information that will go inside her header and then we have a body which has the actual parameters of the request like first name last name and so on so this is what a soap message looks like and uh, any soap web services will comply to these standards of soap message so now let us summarize we have learned what soap web services are soap web services are web services that comply soap web services specifications and these specifications are some guidelines which are laid by a central body which is w3c and the basic set of specification include soap wsdl and uddi and soap is a protocol which defines how two applications will talk to each other and it says that for two applications to talk to each other they have to follow a common format and that common format has to be xml and it has the xml has to follow a soap message standard and the soap message standard consists of uh, envelope header and body so this is all about soap web services i hope this concept is fairly clear now in the next session we will go deeply and look into some more concepts of web services Thanks for watching.